Alright, so today we're going to be creating a Solana collection, of course, on a Solana blockchain. And I'm going to do it right here and right now. And I'm not going to make a serious collection because um, this is not because this is not a promotion or anything like that. I'm just going to show you. So yeah, don't worry, this is not a promotion video of any kind. But I have my Solana ready right here and you're probably wondering, that's a bit low for a Solana collection. But it's not. And I'm, I'm actually going to do it right in this video. So first up you want to go over to launchmynft.io Then you can connect your wallet You're gonna connect the Solana wallet or Phantom wallet Connect that And now we are on launchmynft And if you didn't know launchmynft This is a place where a lot of collections get started And it's a really easy way to get started for a collection Because there's a lot of people on the site And this is like a really big mint site So you don't have to go into each NFT's own website but this is just an easier way to like find collections and mint collection as well you just see one of these they have a lot of mints and here you can see the new collections but we're just gonna create a collection so we're gonna go to create then we're gonna generate a collection then we're gonna sign in sign in and we just wait a little there we go this is actually a bit different from last when I was on here so this is actually a pretty good idea that I'm on here again so I can show you guys how to do it I'm probably gonna mess up a bit but we're just gonna do it still so uh, we're gonna call this GG GG and this is just gonna be that right there so this is the collection name this is the symbol of the collection you can read more you can read more about it right here um, this is really important to have a good collection name and this is the base art name as you can see on OpenSea you can see all have a name or some just have the hashtag like board apes just have the hashtag uh, also this one right here but a lot goes with the name of the NFT collection and then a hashtag but you don't you just need a hashtag so if you want to call this like board ape you just want to type in hashtag you don't want to type in one because then it's going to say one one this is just you can see right here this is how it's going to look like right there then the description do that then you want to uh, do the mint price and you can just change this to whatever you like so we just can leave it at that on realities you can also change this i don't know how high you can set this but most nft collections is like between 2.5 and 10 i think then you want to press next and then you want to drop drop in your input folder and you should probably watch my video that i did earlier that's going to be a screenshot of the video right here so you can find it on the channel or we'll go more in, in depth on how you do this but i already have it ready right here but I can just quickly go over it you want to name your folder input images of all your NFTs and then you want to have your background and you need a common legendary rare and super rare and you need to do it like I do it right here this is how it needs to look these folders you can change the name of because that's what it's going to look like on the collection if we go into one of these NFTs right here oh, that, but it's going to be right here like the uh, type and stuff like that but it's not going to say type though but I can just to a better example okay so we're gonna go into board yard cloud instead because i know what that looks like you see right here background eyes this eyes is like eyewear fur that could be like facial hair it's not the same though but you know what i mean hopefully but every single one has the common legendary rare and super rare also this one common legendary rare super rare and you wanna of course change this to legendary that's probably gonna be your rare nfts or accessories i mean so when you've done all that, but then you want to drag it right in here, then you can see a preview of your NFTs right here. Then you want to change this. If you now, let's say, I'm going to create a, we first can do this, 1000 NFT collection. And then you can change this background, that's going to be first of course. Then the head, that's going to be the second one. Mouthpiece is going to be the last, I'm pretty sure. Headwear is also going to be one of the last, but eyewear is going to be buff hit rare facial hair is on the mouthpiece that looks great and then you can change right here 25 25 that's what it says already but you can change this to any number you like but it needs to be 100 in total so legendary is probably going to be your lowest percentage but you can also right here click on this this is actually something new but i just learned it if you click this this is the hit now and then you can change the hits legendary rare and super rare and i rare so you need to do this on every single one of them before it was only it didn't say mouthpiece it was just very percentage so it was across all of the accessories you were doing percentage of so you can just preview nfts right here and if it looks great you can uh, 
generate your collection and you want to press this run right here now we're actually going to generate your collection this is a great way to generate a collection without doing anything a lot of people take money for this on fiverr but i'm going to generate a 1000 nft collection right now for free so you just want to hit generate this is actually also something new that i didn't know but now there's a pop-up where i need to uh, where the files need to be saved and I just named a folder right here video so I'm gonna press that and choose the folder I don't know what this is but uh, yes just do it yes now it's generating the collection I just wanna say that a lot of changes since I last did the video so this is pretty good I'm doing a video again about this and I'm sorry about everything I show is in Danish when this purpose were but uh, you're probably gonna see the same pop-ups and it's gonna be in your language and this can take some time depending on your PC and you can see my PC is not that fast so if you have a faster PC it's gonna be really fast and slow PC it's gonna be slow as mine Alright, there we go. So it looks like I've generated the whole collection. And I didn't make a pop-up right here. It used to do that, so I guess I'm gonna find it myself. So this is the folder I called video. And I have a output folder right here. And images. And there we go. A lot of NFTs have just been created. And in total, 1000 NFTs. And it says 99, but it starts at zero. So yeah, that's how you generate a collection. Okay, so now we wanna drag and uh, drop in the folder right here. There we go. Before you had to unzip the files as well, so this is pretty easy. And then we want to hit continue. And then you just wait again. Uploading metadata. There we go. Now we can deploy it on the chain. Also just had to log in. And uh, then it says right here how much it's gonna cost. Prove that. Success! check your main page and there we go now the collection is officially ready to mint the collection will be right here on, on the new collection to everyone to see and then you can change everything right here your banner the cover image and your collection description for some reason it doesn't change when you, you do it right before so you have to do it again and you can link your twitter as well then you want to save that and then you can also change the mint price Actually, can I change this to this now? I've never tried this. Oh! Let's try and mint one. There we go. Let's see. And there we go. We just minted one of the NFTs and we minted number zero. So yeah, it's pretty easy. Now it's ready for you to promote it on your socials stuff like that next video i can show you how you can get it on OpenSea. your brand new solana collection but yeah thank you for watching have a good day